this is Chelsea, Senator McCourty's assistant with my daughter, Lindley. Lindley, say hi. Hi. And we are here at home. I'm working and she is distance learning. I am checking emails and voicemails from my makeshift kitchen office. And I wanted to just say hi and touch base and let you know that I'm still here to help and um, to help answer questions that you may have right now. It's, it's an uncomfortable time, but I would like to help however I can. And Senator McCourtney as well. He's, he's busy with his conference calls and Zoom calls, so we are still working for you. And I wanted to remind you to continue to follow the CDC guidelines. Um, Lindley knows those. What are those, Lindley? Wash your hands, don't touch your face, Stay home and wear a cloth mask. That's right. And wearing a cloth, cloth mask, um, I actually made some masks for our Senate members this week during special session. And the Senator thought that it would be a good idea for me to share that with you guys. So if you wanted to make your own or are looking for one, um, this might help you make one from home instead of having to get out and, and find one somewhere. So if you want to stay on the video, I will show you how I made them. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a 12 by eight piece of material and an eight by four piece of material if you're going to make the pocket on the back for a filter. If you only want the cloth mask without a pocket that's two layers thick, this is what you're going to use. So you will fold this piece in half just like that Then you're going to pin it where it is, just to keep it in place. Now you're going to create your darts that are going to let your mask stretch over your face. So on the sides, You'll, you don't need to measure, but just fold it over just like this and then pin that. It's about an inch down from the top and then create another one right underneath it, the same size and pin that as well. Then you'll turn it over and do the other side just like that. <clears throat> There's your mask. You can sew it like this, or you can add the pocket on it to slide a filter in. So there is your piece you just lay over top, and then you'll move your pins to connect it all. And it will end up looking something like this. And then you're going to run this through your sewing machine. You will only sew the sides and the bottom. Now your elastic that you will use is seven inches long and about a quarter of an inch thick. Whenever you run it through your sewing machine on the sides, if you want to go ahead and pin it, you can do that if it makes it easier. And then bring this one down here and pin it. like so. So you've got it all set to go through your sewing machine. Whenever you sew down the sides on your elastic, make sure you go over the elastic about three times to make sure it's secure. And you'll flip it and sew the bottom, flip it and do the same thing on this side with the other piece of elastic, just like this. Once that is done, your mask should look something like this. And you've got your pocket for a filter and the mask can stretch over your face. This is my mask that I wear whenever I have to go to Walmart. <clears throat> and they are actually really comfortable. And the filter that I have been using, if you want to use a filter, 
Um, now they haven't really said much about certain filters. I've only heard from my nurse friends um, which ones they think would work the best. Um, this is actually a premium air filter that I've cut to size. Um, it is one of the best uh, that they sell at Lowe's and they filter out bacteria and viruses. So I figured why not it's worth a shot since you can't find the other filters. So I cut it to size and you will just open this up. Slide that in when you have to go to Walmart. And then wear it. And then once you're done, you will take that filter back out and just toss it. So there is the cloth face mask.